Hello everyone, my name is Joachim and welcome to Sony Games for No Time and welcome to the solo playthrough of Endless Winter Paleo Americans. If you want to know how to play, I suggest you watch the how to play video um, because I'm going to dive right in. Of course, I will ex be explaining what I'm doing and what Nomad, who is the solo player, uh, is doing. And I'll also tell you what I've already done. So, first of all, I have gotten this starter card um, which gives me my starting resources so you can see i have one tool i have four food three food but also because i'm second player i get an extra food i got this um hunter because the elephant one has an extra card here and then i also got a woolly mammoth and a woolly rhino uh, as my pack animals i guess to start a game with this can now go away um, as far as the Nomad player, the map was, this map was revealed, so that's why it has two camps here and three here. I put them down so it's easier for you guys to see. Um, and then what else? I have the reference cards here, especially this one, I better put it here, it's easier. These are the Nomad cards, I put them here for space uh, concerns because you can see this is a huge sprawling game. This thing here is for an expansion that we don't have. So maybe I should just put it here then. There we go, put it here. Well, I, mean, I do have the expansion, but we're not using it now. And uh, I think that's kind of it. So everything else uh, is set up the way it has to be. So we can just immediately start. Yeah. Okay, so the Nomad will start. So they will flip over their card. So. First of all, they will go to the uh, development track. So one of their warriors will go here. So they're gonna go, normally you would go down the track, but because it's solo, they do not, they ignore everything. They just block the bonus uh, spot and they don't get the bonus either. However, the they will build or buy one of these stones, but stones, they don't come for free. Because you can see here, stone costs one tool and one food, and this is supposed to be zero. They don't have anything. So what happens then? You'll take a look at look here. So it says here you cannot do this. Okay, then they will build a um, megalith. So where is the megalith going to go? Because we have four starting spots. The gray ones are the neutral ones. They can go up in starting spots. So you look at the arrow. They're going to the left side. So it goes here. It also means I immediately can build a new megalith. So that one will go to the left and then the bottom. So now they will get two food, all right, two food. So we have now revealed this spot as well, but you only get that during the eclipse, as you can see here, right? So they don't get it immediately. Okay, so that's the first thing they do, but then they also are getting a card from here. And then we check which one. Um, not here, here, left side, bottom. So they're going to take the spears, three tools, and they put it on top of their sacrifice pile. Now, had this been empty, then this card would have gone to their burial uh, card there. Okay, so they're done. Now it is my turn. So important for me is to, first of all, figure out what in the world I'm going to do. All right. So... Normally my, fa uh, my action phases first play culture cards. That's very easy. I have no culture cards whatsoever. The culture cards have these uh, icons in the top left so corner, so I can ignore it already. So I'm going to merely place a figure. Now, important is like, for example, do I want to have one of these stones? What do they do? Well, first of all, the stones, they're quite easy to explain. These ones will give me uh, points for every village. Of course, I have no villages yet. Uh, next to that kind of um, type. So I guess this is like a waterfall. This one is next to glaciers. And this one is next to forests, I guess. And then we have this, which means gain one point for every megalith of your color directly placed on the megalith board not stacked on top of other megaliths so basically every red one on here will give me points this one then will give me points for this type of animal but tapped so right now they're alive if i kill them for their bonus they're tapped okay so the only one that would 
interests me is not here. I could kill mammoths, but then I kind of want to keep mammoths because if I have this one, I really have a bonus because if I have two mammoths, I get five points at the end of the game. So this is basically all killing animals, which I don't care for right now. So I don't think it's that important. Do I want to have any of these cards though? Because if I go, but then I'd have to go here, uh, which is annoying because I can't get the bonus. If I go here, I can get these cards, which is interesting and I can bury cards, but that's not as interesting. This one is interesting because if I go here, I can put more of my camps on the board. If Camps will give you stuff during the Eclipse phase, which is later. Mm. And it is three food. I do have enough food to immediately build one, but then I'd have to have more tools, which I do not. So it's not that useful, perhaps. Hunting, I could use my chieftain because he gives me a tool. Um, and I can get the woolly mammoth and get all that done already. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. My guy, my chieftain is gonna go there. I'm gonna use his ability. So that gives me an extra tool. So um, then I can do this. So to bolster my action, because this requires labor and tools, right? So a tool means I take the animal. Um, labor means I reveal more animals. So I have all these that I can play. Now, for example, I could play these two to give me two labor um, because they're not that good anyway, the tribesmen. These ones are actually way better to play for the Eclipse because they give me power at the bottom, but also they give me more or actually Brave is also good to play because he gives me two and a half. But I don't want to spend it there. So I'm just going to play these two um, now to so give me two labor so I have a total of two labor I can spend food for more so I'm gonna spend one labor to reveal two animal cards there's a glyptodon but well, actually yeah it's too late now I revealed it I could have just gotten two animals instead of just doing this and another woolly mammoth so then I'm gonna spend one tool and uh, my other labor to uh, get a woolly mammoth. So now I have two woolly mammoths, which basically gives me the bonus at the end of the game, five points. Um, all right, then do I want to do anything else? Because I could spend one food, one food and the tool to get, um, I could get the ground sloth and then immediately kill it to get the tool back and for food, but I don't know if that's such a good idea. Um, actually, I think I will. I'm going to spend one food to get another labor and then spend my tool to get the ground sloth. There we go. Move him down and then tap the ground sloth. So it gives me one tool and four food. So I'm maximized here. Then I go down, and then I can top deck an animal, which is a ground sloth. Ah, too bad. <laughs> Sadly, I cannot uh, kill it. So I'll put him like this behind it. Okay, so that was my turn. Um, discard played cards, so they go away. Their turn, Nomad. So they're going there now. Up. And that means they are going to do the megalith again. So they are going to place. Um, so it's to the right. So of course I can't place it here, but I could place it here. No, no, I can't place it here. I could place it here, I guess. So that's the only available place if it goes to the right, according to the arrow, next to here. So they get another two food. We're stacking up on food. And then they will bury a card. So their top card will go underneath here. So that's good. that will give them points at the end of the game. There we go. Then they will do another megalith. Wow, okay. 
and once again to the right so it's going to be here or here so it's going to be here and that means they draw two cards but of course they cannot draw two cards so they bury two cards that's a lot of end game points there that yeah, they just did okay wow that was uh, impressive painful actually all right so that's going to be one of my guys i should probably go here because nobody went there so that's what i'm gonna do so i can get the bonuses so i have these guys now brave could give me two and a half um but actually i wanted to have more tools but tribeswoman allows me to, okay so i'm gonna play tribeswoman she allows me to spend one food, turn it into a tool. So that's good. And that's one and a half labor already. Then I'll play Brave, which puts us to three, four labor and two tools. So I am going to use two tools to put down two camps. There we go. So one and two. So that's zero. And then I have one and a half two and a half, so three, four labor to move these guys around. So obviously I want to try and move them in positions so I can get a triangle going and get a really nice engine. Now, this would always give me idle, food, and points, which is nice, but I think this is better. So I'm going to do, I have four labor. I can spend more food to get more labor. So one, two three four five so i'm going to spend one more food for five so i have them all set up there then i go here spend three food so i'm down to one food take one of my uh villages put it down here and these three can go back to my board boom that's cool all right and then i can put down a new camp and also move it. So another useful triangle would of course be here. So I'm gonna move them down. Um, okay. Um, so place a figure, discard play cards. So these two go away. Of course it's sad about the eclipse stuff. Maybe I'm not playing that well. All right, then I turn again. He's also going the camp route. So normally if there had been any other place where there's no one, they would have gone there. But now it doesn't matter, so they'll just go there anyway. So first of all, they'll score points according to the tents. So on glaciers. So there's only one here, so they score one point. First points have been scored. Then they will build so obviously they cannot build so they're going to turn flip it over and that means the two middle ones are going to swap uh, change positions so these two will now go here and here so that means if there's another build action later on they'll be able to build here so bury so one of these cards will be buried what am i holding my hand oh my hunter there we go and then um, last one is Eclipse. So this card will go to the Eclipse. There we go. All right, so that was their third turn. So they don't do any Eclipse pile or whatever because they already have a card there. Now I know they have one card there. So instead of using my guy, if I just put it here, I'll win pretty much for sure or if I put him there it'll also be a tie I can put both there of course but I kind of want to have cards I kind of feel a little bit annoyed that I don't have cards especially these ones I have zero of those and a lot of them are really good so huh. um, like one food gets to do a lot of stuff I really like the log rafts but if I do that I need to have three I don't have that at all anymore. I spent too much. 
Um, like I could, I can't, no. If I rest, I can draw a card to my hand. If he goes hunting, he will get to get more animals, kill an animal, get more food. I think I'm going to rest and I'm going to put this one here, basically forfeiting a turn just to see what happens, I guess. So uh, this card, uh, prepare Eclipse Pile. So I've done the Eclipse Pile and then Eclipse Face, reveal Eclipse Piles. So Nomad has one labor. So it's good that I actually did that. So it's one and a half, I have two and a half. So obviously I have the most first, since I have the highest, I get to go first. So I become first player and I get to do my first of these. Now I can put them anywhere I want. I don't have to go into the starting spot. Um, so I could easily get one of those cards. Uh, I kind of want to have more of these because they're so nice. Because I can basically go here, all of this. I can draw two cards as well. I think I'll go here and get one of these. Mm. I want to get more of this, so I'm going to get the crafter and goes to my hand. So this is my hand. Okay, so then after that, um, he, well, I guess it's all me and then all him. So if there's pile cards, I can do whatever it says here, which means I can put one on top there and I get one food, always nice. Okay, done. Then terrain tiles. So I have majority here, so I can, move one up so i'll go here and or do i want to go there i'm not really good at burying at the moment i'm gonna go for food okay oh by the way we're here now and then here i have the highest influence everywhere so i get to do this so I think I'll go for draw two cards to have as many cards as possible. So I have altars, which is good because I can add more stuff there and a tribesman, which is meh. All right. Um, I also get three points. Yeah. Okay. I'm on the board. Okay. So that is all me. Oh no. And then my player board, I get one tool and I draw another card. Okay. Communal Feasts, pretty good. I can spend one food to take one of these and put it in my discard. I also get one tool. Okay, nothing of these because I don't have any. All right, um, so then him, he also does the usual stuff, I think. Tribe Marker, so they draw a card, but the draw a card doesn't happen, so they once again, create endgame points for themselves and then terrain benefits where they have the most so nothing there nothing happens here they go up here one because they will always favor honor they also get two food and also get a point okay and then player board stuff here they get one tool so then we do the uh, preparation phase uh, so for the Nomad, all these cards are put in here and shuffled. Hit, 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 hit. All the characters go back, all the units go back. All the units go back. There we go. This as well. We move to the second round. All the figures go back, we fill the hunting grounds. Um, one more card than our players, three, so these guys stay. And then we fill all empty spaces with this. There we go. Hand drills. All these cards are so good. My goodness. Um, each player draws five cards from their deck into their hand. 
and there's no limit and then we just do the whole thing again so so one two all the cards used for eclipse phase are also in the discard pile and because i was not able to draw the last three cards i have to shuffle my discard deck and add two more so one two so I have a lot of cards now. And also, for the first time ever, two culture cards that I can play during my turn. And I'm first player now, so I get to go first. And my first option is to play culture cards. So I basically have these two, communal feasts and altars. So it's interesting, because yeah, I like them both. Uh, but then if I use them, It'll kind of hamper me. So I'm not going to use them this turn. I'm going to try to get some more stuff. Uh, also, I'm afraid if I use them, no man might be able to build on top of it and score points. Yeah. So let's see if I place a figure, what I can do. Because I could keep killing ground slots to get more stuff. <laughs> that is a way to do things. Um, getting tools seem to be quite difficult, honestly. But I have a lot of cards now that I can play to get these ones. So I'm just going to go here. And I'm going to try to get me some uh, cards. So I don't really like the tribesmen in general. So I'm going to play all three of them. That's already three by themselves. And then if I played a crafter there, that's another two. So that's five. If I then spend one food, it's six. Yeah, I think that's perfect. So six, so one, two, three, four, five, spend one food, six. So I can get two cards here. So I like hand drills because it's difficult to get tools so i'm gonna get hand drills and it goes to my hand even though i can't play them this round anymore um this turn sorry and um so this is one food to move my stuff around there which is also very nice this is i can get one of these in the discard and food which is quite okay i get food can tap an animal and put a card in the burial ground which is also okay Fertility rights, which is a tool tap. Yeah. This one is I destroy a card and I get to add an animal, get an animal and get food. Trapping is really good, especially when I get rid of those stupid ones. But then is this from anywhere or from your hand? The destroyed card symbol from your hand. No, it's just discard. It's not from the game. It's just discard. That's interesting though. This one is also good. This one is also good. They're all good. Mm. I think I will go for the log rafts. All these require food though, so I'm gonna have to do some trapping. Okay, so that's done. Then I move down. I spend one food and a tool. Um, to get a stone and so far I think I'm gonna go for this and that means I can merely do a burial so I can get one of these cards out Up, burial card done and then I go down and I get a tool and food yep and then these three are discarded. And then it's his turn, or her turn. Okay, so, go, oops. Go here, the bottom. And one point for everything on a glacier, so they only have one, so one point. So we tie three points. Then uh, they're going to build, and they can build here. So this comes here, 
And then these three, the three outer ones, will, will move. We reveal a map tile and they go here, 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 which is nice because they can't build here because I'm blocking it. Yeah. Okay, so even though it kind of is annoying that they did this, it's not too bad because I blocked their next one. All right. My turn. I'm really enjoying this actually. So I should probably either hunt or... Uh, I've forgotten it again. What is it called again? Yeah, yeah, don't shout at me. Don't shout at me. It's initiate. There you go. <laughs> well, I could initiate. Oh, but no, before I place a guy, I, I can play one of my cards. Cards. Okay, I can't speak anymore. Okay, so problem is most of these require food. And I only have one food. So I can get food by hunting, of course, which I'll do later. Um, I should do the altar for sure. So if I play this card first, it means I can place this and I can get me some food, which I can then use later. So I'm going to put it... Huh. Is there any other way that I could do an altar? Not really. I think they're much... No, I'm doing altar, I mean uh, megalith. Because I think they're way better at doing it. The nomads. Yeah, so I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to go here, get two food. And then I can play me some nice cards. Like for example, hand drills. Which is spend one food and get two tools and a point. There you go. And I'm also going to spend play log rafts, which is also one food. And I can place one camp here and then move one camp. So I am so they built there, which is kind of annoying. Um, I think um, I could still build here. Now well, I think I'll keep going that way. So I'll move this one here. And then, do I want to do anything else? Not for now. Then I can place a person, so I'm going to place, I'm going to go hunting. So, that is my chieftain. So, he's going to give me a tool. Nice guy. Chief Tuskbreaker. And then, let's see what else we can do there. I'm going to place, play my hunter. Which um, gives me two labor for two labor. So if I spend two tools and two labors, I can take two animals. I think I'll do that. I'll take the Argentavis and the Woolly Mammoth. Actually, no, I'm going to take the Glyptodon and the Argentavis. There we go. I don't have enough space for all my, my animals though. Um, so I'm going to put my leader here. Just keep my animals here. All right, and then I get to kill one animal. And that will be the ground sloth again. So one tool and four food. There we go. And this one actually gives me points for killing sloths. <laughs> it's not so wrong. <laughs> and I go here and I can top deck. It's a saber toothed cat. Yay, because that's what he's going for. So they can't get it. Okay, I'm just going to put the saber toothed toth upside down. Saber saber's toothed toth. It's a ground sloth. Oh my god, I cannot, I cannot speak. Somebody help me. All right, so that's done. Um, back to him. I said, all right, discard all my cards. I spent so many cards this turn, which they say you shouldn't, but anyway. Um, all right, there we go. Let's hope this is not too painful. They are going to go here. And go all the way down, of course. 
So it's actually this row that we're doing. So the first one will be buried. And then bad news for me, they're going to go on a building spree. Because next one is building and building. So because they cannot build, I'm going to flip a card. And then the two middle ones change. So these go here. And of course, now they will be able to build. And the next action is actually build. So the next village is also out. There we go. And not only... Oh, okay. We'll see. And then we flip the card to see where the outer ones go. And they go like this. Which in the end is okay. Because I was afraid he was going to take this away from me. But it's not. So it's fine. Okay, so my turn then, my last turn of this round. Um, so I can play communal feasts, is what I'll do as well. I'll spend one food, and then I'll take one of these and put it in my discard. So I really like the crafter, because I really want to get these cards. Um, I'll go the Pathfinder. It goes to my discard though. Pathfinder is good for Eclipse moving around. But I want to go for Crafter anyway. Yeah. Um, okay, and then I can play cards. So, he hasn't done anything yet for the Eclipse. But if he has this one, he's going to blow me out of the water. So for sure, I'll be able to draw a card um, but the thing is, I have two tools, I have four food. I can actually try to build another village. Because I can boost... Um, well, actually, I can only move once. Twice, maximum. And that would be one, two. That's not enough. If I go and rest, I can kill an animal. Which... Um, Sabertooth Cat is pretty good. Two tools and two food. But if, of course, if I go and rest, I can't do anything else. Uh, but I will be able to do it. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go and rest and also play this into the Eclipse. Because my turn is over. Um, so my pile is immediately done. And then his last turn. He's going hunting. So in the end, I really didn't need to do this, but okay. He's going hunting, so he's here. Okay, first he will reveal an animal and then take an animal. So he's going to the he's going to take the woolly mammoth. There we go, because there was no saber tooth tiger. Then he's going to top deck which is a stag moose. Then he's going to reveal and take the woolly mammoth because he already has one. Boom. Wow. Amazing. And then he's going to reveal and take, which is a woolly rhino. Okay. Suddenly he went from almost no animals to a ton of animals. Um, okay. Right. And that is the end of his turn. So, they get the Eclipse from here, and their recently revealed one. Now, I still would have beaten him last round, so it's fine. So they have one, <clears throat> and I have one and a half, and two. So, two and a half. So I win. So, <clears throat> first of all, I get this. So I have to place it wherever. Um, and I'm going to be able to do it again. Is very important so I can uh, set up a, a way for me to get points. I'm gonna do this so I can take one of these, put it in my discard. So I'm gonna take the Pathfinder eventually as well, put it there. Um, so there's a turn order track, all right? I just double checked to make sure that the player who has the highest. Uh, labor actually gets to do all the steps and then the next person and it is like that yeah so um i did my turn order bonus already then um my cards but they do nothing so it's discarded 
and then terrain tiles. So, okay, I get nothing here because this person has dominance over me. It's more of me. I do get all three here because here we share and here I have more than them. So I'll do this one first because I can put it on top of here. So it's two, four, five, six points for me. So it's 10. Um, then I also get, oh, oops. I also get three points, so that's 13. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. And then my player board. So I get one point for each of my colored tiles on here. I think that was it, right? One point for each colored one. One point for each megalith of your color directly placed on the megalith board, not stacked on top. Oh, too bad. So, two points. There we go. And then I get one tool. And then I get to draw one card. And that is it. Um, and then I draw five cards, of course. So, one, two. And then I shuffle and draw three more. In the meantime, he will do it. So it says here he draws, but of course he doesn't draw at all. He will just take one of his sacrifice pile and bury them. <laughs> so one, two, three. Okay, so pile. this will be buried. There we go. Then... Um, He's also doing his board and terrain. So first terrain, um, which is he will get a tool. He will get a point. He get nothing, 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 nothing. Two food and idol. The idols are being super ignored by both of us. And then his board, of course, he draws two. So he sacrifices two. And he gets a tool. So his tools are now maximized. And he still doesn't have any of these, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so... And then here we're now at the second... Uh, so first of all, we uh, take everything back. <clears throat> uh, these three go back. Stop resting, my dude. Um, these are refreshed, so saber tooth cat, so it's good for him. And a ground sloth, oh, it's good for me if I manage to get that tile. These all go away. I'm just gonna put them here so the era ones stay together and they're refreshed with era two, so of course, they're way better. One food, you can draw a card, kill an animal, and bury. You discard a card, two here, and then bury and get a point. Arrowheads, one food to get one discard and draw a card. Okay, get rid of a card, and take one in your hand and get a point. Get rid of a card, get a megalith, and one point. Tool gives you... Um, Reveal an, an animal, get an animal, and an idol. Get rid of a card. Reveal an animal, get an animal, get a point. A tool. Oh, this, I like this one a lot. Stargazing. Up to me to restart. Did I get any? No, I didn't get anything good. But I just got the altars, which is pretty good in itself. And I'm going to play that immediately. So I spend a tool to place another one of my megaliths. Um... Oh, I think I'm going to reveal and get an animal. Look at that. It's another sloth. So I'm going to get a sloth. I should get a saber tooth cat. It doesn't really matter at this point because he might go for the woolly rhino as well. So I'm going to get the sloth and hopefully, well, there's a good chance he might meet an untimely demise if I manage to get this. All right. And then it's my turn to play. So let's see, I have a tribeswoman, a hunter, and a brave, and then these two, which I'm supposed to put underneath here as quickly as possible, but okay. 
So what I want to do is get this. And to get that, I have to go here. So I could do the same thing I did before, which is the Brave and a Trials Woman, because three and four, five and six, and get two more cards. And then get that one. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So this is three, four, five, six. So it's one and two. Three and a half. And three and a half, three and a half, three and a half. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Three and a half. Five, six. So I can get two cards in my hand. I can play next round. So I am gonna be paying one two food and one tool. But I'm gonna get one food and one tool back. So basically I'm gonna pay one food. That's the only thing I'm gonna miss. So I'm gonna be at three, two. So basically it doesn't really matter what I do. Um, I think I don't wanna have any of those that kill cards because I don't I wanna I wanna use them. Uh, like the one with drawing cards. Killing an animal. Because King and will gives me stuff. Especially if I get the sloth. So I get burial gifts. And... Stargazing. Okay. Wait. Oh, I didn't put anyone there. <laughs> so here. So I did this. I did this. No, no, I'm doing this. So I spent two food. And one tool. To get this one. And immediately allows me to take one of these and put it in my discard. Um, I'll take the shaman. There we go. And, um, and then I get a tool and food. Cool. Um, oh, this guy was supposed to shuffle everything. I know I forgot something. Okay, so it'll be very interesting to see how it develops now. And also funny, this is all about killing killing uh, animals. Tapping them. <laughs> Alright, first one is he is going to initiate. So, he's going to place this and it is going to be according to the arrow, right? So he can always place everywhere because you can place next to mine as well. Okay, so he can't stack. So he's just going to look at the arrows, which is going to the left and then up. So it'll be here. I guess. Yeah, here. So he's just going to top deck an animal. Saber tooth cat. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. <clears throat> and then he is going to bury. He's almost sacrificed all his cards. Probably a ton of points. And that's it. My turn then, again. So I have these two cards I can play now. Stargazing and Burial Gifts. For sure, Burial Gifts. So I get to draw a card. Which is interesting. Because I can actually use it now. Tap an animal. Um, sadly, you cannot tap an animal to get cards, but of course, I'm going to tap the ground sloth. It gives me a tool and four food. So, a tool and four food. And then I can also bury something. And obviously, I'm going to bury, oh, this is from last time, one of those tribesmen. go <clears throat> and that's it so this goes here and then I will should I do hand drills I don't see why not I'll spend one food actually no maybe I should keep my food I'm gonna do stargazing though spend one tool go up one 
Um, oh. I think I might just go up here, try to catch him, and then do another megalith. Sadly, he did not make a four. It's disappointing. This one's really good. The double tools are pretty good as well, actually. But then this one's even better. Um, can I can get another sloth, which I need, because the moment I kill three of them, and four is ten. Okay, I'll do this. Review an animal and get an animal. So I get ground sloth. We all know what's going to happen to him. Um, Alright, so that's done. And then hand drills. I think I'll do hand drills anyway. Spend one food. No, 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 no. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Okay, and then I get to place a person. So, 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 I think I need to migrate. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. I'm talking too much. I need to migrate. Because the problem is, is this moving. I have the food though. I should be able to build another village. Yeah, okay, I'll go there. So, I spend a tool. Put on another one, because why not? And then I'm going to spend one, two, three. So I need to have three food. But it's good because I'm at six, right? So one, two, three. I have three left. Then I go down, spend three food. And here is village number two. And all the, these three go back. And then I get the bonus, which means I can put another one out and move one. So I'm going to move one to here. Okay, so I think that's me done. These are discarded. Um, and his turn, his second turn, or her second turn, their second turn. Okay, they're not going to go here, they're going to go hunting. So hunting means they're going to build. So they cannot build at the moment. Well, they can actually. Could build here. Yeah, it's totally correct. So then we reveal the next one and the three on the outside will move. So they go here, 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 because it's annoying they can do another one actually. All right, so that's build. And then they reveal an animal and take an animal. So normally they would um, choose one that they're already collecting, but there's multiple ones. And I think we're going to have to use the arrows to see. We need to use the arrows to use it. So we go to the right and top woolly rhino. That's the one that they're collecting. So there we go. And then they do it again. Sabertooth cats. Once again, to the right and up. So this time is their third sabertooth cat. That's six points, ladies and gentlemen. Ouch. They're done. Okay, so then it is my final turn again. So I cannot do the hand drills because I have no food. Um, so it's kind of useless then. He is best at hunting. It will of course be a good way. But I, can, I think I should probably keep him for uh, the... Uh, Eclipse. Should I keep him for the Eclipse too? I think maybe best. Yeah. So he rests and he as well. And hand drills. Um, I can add it to it, but it's more like a bluff thing. If you play multiplayer, solo doesn't matter. So I'm just going to keep it in my hand. Okay. And then um, his turn. He's going hunting again. Wow, okay. So, reveal an animal and take it. So once again, he is collecting these three. 
So he's going to left and up. So saber tooth cat is now max maxed out. So he's not going to go for that anymore. Then he'll take top deck, which is a Glyptodon. And also running out of space. Just put it here, I guess. All right. And then reveal and take. Uh, so he's not going for this anymore. So left is going to be the Glyptodon. So immediately goes for massive Glyptodons. <laughs> And then a reveal and take again. Another Glyptodon. Yay. He's gonna destroy me with this animal stuff. So he has finished <coughs> his round and he has one in Eclipse. Luckily I have one and a half, two and a half. Oh, by the way, I was able to actually take a card into my hands because of the resting. Ugh. And also um, kill an animal, which of course would be him, which is one, two and four health, and four food. Perfect. All right, and then we do the Eclipse. Turn order is still the same. It's still me because he only has one and I have one, two and a half. So I get to do another one of these. Um, I think I'll go here. I can take this in my hand. So I think a Pathfinder might be good. Actually, no, I'm gonna go for the Shaman. Yeah, Shaman. There we go. And then um, it is first. Pile cards, so this one, so that means I can put a hut down and get, a, get food. There we go. There's the cards, then the terrain tiles. So I get two food. I get one point. I get an idol, so I'm next to them now. Um, I, I'll do that later. I get one point. I get two points. This I don't get because they are dominant. And then here, I st can still do it. So if I set it up, I set it up for them. So I can't go here. Um, I guess I'll go for two tools. There I go. And I think that's it for the terrain. And then player board. Um, okay, so I get one point for each of my colored ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that puts me on 25. And then I get, um, I killed four, right? Yeah, I get 10 points for this one. 35. And then here I get to draw two cards. Logroft and another Trisman. Oh. <laughs> and here I get the idol and a tool. So idol. So then his turn. So first of all, he buries a card and he's now out of cards. He killed them all. Um, then he will look at the terrain. So he's gonna get two food, uh, nothing, nothing. He's gonna get a tool, but he's already maxed out on tools. So what does he get? By right, according to this then, I guess, food. All right, up. Then um, so it's here. He gets a point. He will do this. Up, which I guess he cannot stack, so he's going to do it according to this, which is to the left and up. So it's going to be here, which allows him to take a card, and then he'll use the same thing. Um, but I think he's going to end up getting. Oh no. Nothing, I guess. Um, the bury one as the reference, but he can't bury either. So I guess he gets a tool, can't get a tool. He's maxed out and get food. Okay. So, yeah, that was here. <laughs> he gets two points. Um, he gets idle. Next to me now. 
gets two more food, but he can't get food. So that means he gets two more idols, right? Yeah. So one, two. He instantly gets two points. And that's it. Okay. And then his player board. There's nothing to bury. So we go down here. Roof, which is basically three. Up, three points. Um, here he gets a tool, which is going to be an idol again, and an idol. So two more idols. Wow. Okay, five more points. Seventeen. Just decided to uh, max out the thing. Why not? Uh, yeah. So he's maxed out, isn't he now? Yeah, he's at the top. He's maxed out. So no way I can get the top anymore. If I go up, it's just for the points. Okay, so... Up, up. We go to round four. These gaps are filled up with new cards. We have tributes. One food for two idols. Kill, a, kill an animal and then bury. And tusks. One food. Reveal an animal. Take an animal. Kill an animal. Wow, okay. Um, they all go back. Discarded. Five cards. One, two, three, four. Okay, the crafter, so I'm gonna be able to get some cards at least. Um to get one from here. Game is almost over. Final round. Boom. Hunter. Okay. And then these go back. These are shuffled. Animals don't change. Nothing else changes, as far as I can tell. Oh, what am I doing? He doesn't even start. It's me who starts. Okay. So let's see what my options are. What are my culture cards? Oh, I've been playing culture cards wrong. Oh, shoot. I just realized. That is really dumb. That is really dumb. I cheated. I cheated, I cheated, I cheated. It's too bad. Well, at least I know now. It'd be very funny if I lose anyway. Okay, so these are my three options. And then if I want to play anything else, I have to discard. Okay. Yeah, that was dumb. <sighs> okay, anyway. Mm, I think I'll do... I'll go for Log Rafts. To try to get another one out there, another village. Preferably here. Just so I can do another one of these. So Log Rafts, so I spend food. I put down one and I move one, so up. And then if I want to do another one, I have to discard a card. But I'm not going to do that because I have... It's not necessary at this point. None of them immediately give me anything I need. So it's not necessary. Alright, so I'll place a, a person. Um, So I could kill a Cryptodon, <laughs> um, but I think I want to mostly go there because I have a, I'll have a lot of food, I have a lot of tools, I can move around a lot, so I want to have that village out as well, uh, so I can get this done as well, or just block the other guy. All right, I'm going to go here, but do I have anyone who actually likes that? Yeah, Pathfinder 1, here we go. But then of course if I use Pathfinder, I can't use his Eclipse ability. But I don't think at this point is necessary because I have this one already. I just need to get it done. I just need two movement actually. One, two, and I got it. But then I want to get more stuff out <coughs> because I want to block. So, so. so. I don't know. 
don't want to use a crafter. <clears throat> I'll use my hunter, maybe. No, I'll just use this guy. So that'll be three. I think three is good. All right, so one, two, three. Um, I'm going to spend one tool to bring the last one out. And then one, two. I don't even need three. I don't need this card. One, two. Oh, actually, I do. Just stop the tie. Yeah. Yep. Or two, two. Make sure we tie. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to spend one food to make sure he can't do that. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to um, use this. Spend three food. So I go five to two. Up. Boom. These three are gone. Back here. And then go down. I can put one down and move one just to make sure I can keep doing it. There we go. Um, that's me done. These all go away. All right, his turn. I guess because I've been cheating, I play, I'm playing on ultra easy. <laughs> all right, and once again, he's in, he's initiating so much. Okay, so up. All right, he's gonna place this, and according, he's gonna go to the left bottom. So that would be here then. This is the most left and bottom, right? Yeah. So he gets two food, but it's going to end up being two idols, so he's now here. Because he's maxed out on food, and then it's idols. Um, okay. Sorry, yeah. And then this one, which we bury, but he cannot bury because he doesn't have any cards, because he keeps doing the same thing over and over and over again. So it's going to be another idol. There we go. Which is really good because it's going to be a ton of points for him, actually. All right. Back to me, then. Um, so, do I want to play communal feasts or hand drills? Not really. I don't want to play it either because I want to keep my food. So, that is kind of done. I don't need that as much. Um... Could go for more animals. Could go for the people. The people, the people. Because I do have my crafter. Yeah. All right, so this is four already. And I'll go here. So if I can get two more, I can get another two cards. Because they're points. But the problem is I can't, all right. Okay, four, five. Six. There we go. I get two cards, but I'm not gonna do that. I need my food. I can't. I can't buy anything. No, I'm not gonna do it then. Because I need food first. But there's no way to get food. What did I see anyway? Oh, I can kill an animal. All right, let's do it like that then. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's my last turn, right? I mean, I have a turn after this, but that tends to go for here. It tends to end up being that. Just so we can take this away from him. There's a good chance he might actually do it anyway. Um, this is a couple of points, but then the animals could be more. Especially if I end up buying this. I have to kill a bunch of cats though. I can get this in my hand if I do this. No, no, not really. Um, where can I get the most points? I cannot kill more slots. I mean, I guess I can. I guess I can. Try to find more slots. There's 10 of them. Still a bunch of them in there. And if I managed... Well, it's only 4+, plus, so it doesn't matter. It's already maxed out. Um, no, so it doesn't matter. 
However, if I get the cats, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go hunting. So take my guy who gives me a tool. Where is he? Here, he gives me a tool. Up. Um, I need to have some people. I think there was a hunter here. Yeah, okay, so it gives me two already. Um, tribesman gives me three. Well, let's keep it at two at the moment. So I spend one to reveal two. It's nothing. And another sloth. Okay, I didn't really help much. And uh, then I spend the tool. So I, sp so I spent all two now. Two on this to get one, so I get the Saber Truth Cats. Because I can add the Argentavis for the points. There we go. And then I will spend... Huh. Seems such a waste. Because the Shaman is especially good. Oh, if I do this and I add a tool, it's actually three. So I have three more to spend. So this is two more to spend. Ugh. So one more to spend. Get the Cryptodon as well then. So I have one more to spend. Just getting one is also a point. Uh, one more to spend. Ugh. Okay. Do only need one? Well, it's just a point, right? So, up, I'll get the stag moose for variety's sake. There we go. That's done. Then I get to kill one. Actually, yeah, stag moose is way better. So, I'll kill the stag moose because I get to put a. Uh, camp here and get full food. All right, and then I top deck an animal, which is another Argentavis, which is really good actually, because then I can add it to both these guys. Okay, his turn. So these go away. Oh, he's gonna develop. Finally, something else. All right, so he's going to buy a stone. Now, doesn't matter which era we're in. Left, right, he's going to go for the right, and then just take the most right, basically. So he's going to take this one, cover it up here, pay one tool and one food, which I like because it lowers his cost a little bit. Okay, that's done. And then he gets to get one of these cards, which is the same thing. He'll get the tusks. So this goes here. And then um, he will... Ah, oh, he's actively doing it now. All right, back to me. Um, do I want any of these? I think I do want the hand drills. So I'll do hand drills. <clears throat> Spend one food. Get two tools at one point. I could do communal feasts as well because it's another point. Um, now I didn't go here yet. I could go but it's just going to give me a bunch of tools which is kind of useless. So I might as well just get some cards here. They're points. But then isn't there anything else? Oh, it's supposed to be here. Wait, did I do this? Oh, no, I'm doing this now. Yeah. Potentially. Um, or should I just move my huts around? To block points or whatever. How about these? Anything interesting? <laughs> uh, not really, because there's not that many. Well, I do... This might actually be interesting. Might give me four points. Gain two points for each of your villages that touches at least one hexal to pick a type. At least one per village. So if I have this one... 
And then I this and this is four points. And also this and this, but that's not an option. So I can get that for four points and then get someone for more points. And it's gonna be it then. But I think I can get more points if I'm first player. So I should just bombard this area actually. Just go rest. Put all of these in resting phase. <laughs> and it's his last turn. Okay, they go hunting, but they don't go hunting because oh wait, huh? Did I skip a turn? Oh I didn't put his guy out. They're actually here. I put mine in the set of theirs. Okay, so they go hunting. So here. So it is reveal and take. So they're going to take whatever it is they're collecting. So it's going to be a moose. We're probably going to get maximum moose as well. And then top deck, which is a moose, of course. And then they get one of these cards, which will be pottery to the right and up. And then reveal and take, but it's going to be a moose. Uh, it doesn't matter which one, actually. I guess it doesn't matter which one, but yeah. so it's four now. So actually, I was not supposed to take this one. I'm supposed to get the arrow is this one. Wow. And that's done. So the game is over. It's finished. It's time for well, not not. We have to do eclipse. Sorry, the the regular actions are over. Now it's time for eclipse. So I have. Oh, I forgot to do this again. So I drew a card. Doesn't matter actually. Um, and then I could have killed an animal, but I don't think I would do that. Um, actually, if I kill this, I get two points. Yeah, actually, I'm going to kill this one. No, it's not. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Um, the rhino would be worth it, but it's just six food. At this point, yeah, I'm gonna kill the rhino for six food, so it's nine. The reason why is because I'm here, right? So every four, so it's three plus nine is twelve, so it's three points. Him is just one point, but without his six food, I'm at three food plus three is six, so it just give me one point. So that's why. Okay, so that's done. Um, so I have one and a half. And then two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, and he has one. Okay, so I've definitely won that one, which means I can do this. Which means I can take my final one and put it here. Put it a bit closer to each other. So that's two, four, five, six points. 41. Um, and then I do what's on my cards. So nothing, but this was of course discarded already. So nothing, four tools. <laughs> and I think if you get, oh wait, but if, if, it, if it's not tools, I can take something else, anything remaining. So I took one tool and the three can, uh, no matter, never mind, doesn't matter. Um, all right, so those are the cards and the terrain tiles. Okay, so start here. One point. Two food, which is maxed out, doesn't matter. Idol. Um, how many idols am I going to get? I have two there. One here, so it's three. One, two, three. I can bury something. This is two points. Berry is going to be how many I have now? Two. I have to bury more than one. I don't see any way of burying. No. So I don't necessarily need to go for that. Better go off here then for the two points. Because going up three here makes no difference. Unless I have a reward that I change, yeah. If I change all these three to this, 
Now that's interesting. Okay, so I'm doing the tiles. So this is one idol. So I go up one here. Okay, then uh, is it this one? Tool or max? It doesn't matter. Uh, actually, no. I'll do this first because I have two of them. Oh, I have none left. Oh, crap. <laughs> I've done all that to... Oh, that sucks. Okay, so... The tool doesn't matter. Two, three points. 25. That's it then, right? Oh, so stupid. Okay, player board then. I have three cards that I can draw, but I can lower it. So I'm going to do three idle. So one, two, three, which means I can kill a card. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one. So I'm going to take this one. Um, then go down here, uh, which is one tool, but I'm maxed. So two idols. So one, two for two points. And then here, um, I have one point for every one, two, three, four, five, six points. So 53. And then 10 points because I killed the slots. 63. Um, and that is it. Yeah. That's everything. His turn. He gets to draw a card, but of course that means he's burying one. Okay. More points for him. Then we look at the terrain. So two food. So one. And then the next food is idle. So his idle goes up again. Um, nothing, nothing. One tool. Up. One, three points. Anyone? He can't do this because I blocked him. He gets an idol. He gets two food, which is two idols. And that's it. Yeah. That is it. And then his player board. Uh, he can draw three cards. But of course, that's going to be burying three times. So one, and then he has two left. Uh, which would be tools, nothing, food, nothing, so two more idols, one, two. And then, uh, there was this, another tool, another idol, which is up, and then a one point. And then he also gets two points for that, because whatever it says doesn't matter. Okay, and then it's endgame scoring. Yeah, endgame scoring. I'm going to do myself first. I'm pretty sure I've lost, even though I cheated. <laughs> all right, final scoring. First of all, the offering track. So for every three, I get one point. So I have five plus nine. That's 14 divided by three. So that's four. So that's four points. 67. All right. Then the... Um, Honor track, total number of buried cards. Um, so I'm second, and I have how many cards here? Three. So I get three points only. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Tribe cards and cultured cards. So they come from everywhere. Anything with a point, I get. So take all of these, including the ones that are buried. And here. All right, so one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven points. So that is 81. And then um, animal cards. 
So I have two woolly mammoths, so that's five, so that's 86. And then the Argentavis can be added, right? Um, one or more. So let's see. I can change this to 6 and 6, so that would be 12. Or I could have 3 and 10, which would be 13. So, okay, I have 4 Gyptodons, which is 10 points. And then 2 of these is 3, so 13. So that's 93. Um, and that's it. Okay. All right. So I didn't even break a hundred. <laughs> All right, let's see. The nomad scores points the same way a player does. Points for leftover food and tools based on. So yeah, he has ten plus five, which is fifteen. It's fifteen points. So that's thirty-nine. I'm already scared. He gains points based on their relative position on the honor track and how many cards they buried. So of course he's gonna get the max because there's so many cards. He's going to get 15 for sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, 13. Oh, thank goodness. 13. Yeah, so he gets 10 points. Right. No, he gets 15. Yeah, he gets 15 points. 15. So that's 54. Um, points for any culture cards they buried, any culture scar cards to the other one. So I count these points as well. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Come in. 11. So that's 65. And then animal cards. So. Animal cards with times 10 score the same as the animal sets from the base game. So basically 10, 20, 23, 29, it's 29 already. So that's 80, that's 94, you already beat me. And then times 5 is also the same. So it's five, so five points. So 99, there we go. That's it. So I cheated and I lost. <laughs> yeah, I lost 99 to 93. But I like this game. Whew, I really do like this game. It's really cool. And um, of course, you're going to be comparing automatic to, automatically to other games, right? But um, how do I feel about it after just one game? There's a lot to keep in mind. Like I made a, a big mistake with the uh, the culture cards. I was just so happy I could finally play them. And then I played them wrong a couple of times. Um, but I don't know. I really like this game. I really like this game. I, like, I want to instantly play again. But it's way too late. It's really late here. Um, yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's a really cool game. A really cool game. There's so much to do. I like this mini game here. Uh, the points that you can get from here are awesome. The bonuses are awesome. The best bonuses I actually never reached. Um, I like the solo a lot because it's unpredictable. Uh, I like this because there's so many cards to choose from. And even if one card is really good, the maximum you can use them is what? Uh, if you buy it, it's one, two, three. You can use it three times maximum. Oh, four times, actually. Four times maximum. But even then, I didn't see any cards that I thought were really overpowered. Um, it's a little bit of an engine as well, of course. You need to decide what to do, what to go for. And these are also important. Um, yeah. And there's so much in the box I haven't even touched. So I'm going to definitely play again, have another playthrough with some of the modules in there. Because you can see here as well, the fishing stuff is in here already on the mats. So I think it should be easy to integrate. Um, and then the other track is normally here as well, All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, wanna, I, wanna, I want more stuff, more stuff, more stuff. Yeah, it's cool. It's really awesome.
Um, okay. Yeah, defeating the AI is going to be very difficult because once they reach any of the, the, the limits here, the idol shoots up on so many points. And then the animals as well. If they can do the same thing multiple times, poof. Uh, I think it'll be easier to play against a human, uh, against a human opponent, I feel. <laughs> yeah, awesome game. I'm so happy I got it. Okay. But I'm going to stop there. Um, more in depth how I feel about it will follow after more plays, especially with other people. All right, that's it. I'm going to stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Um, my name is Joachim and always will be. This is so many games all the time. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.